Hey, um, so I, I work in the employee ownership world, and I was curious to get your thoughts on um, kind of what I feel like is one of the sort of biggest tension in that umbrella. Um, so I, I sort of see there being two dominant frames for, for that, you know, shared capitalism, which is, you know, the ESOP is the dominant form, and then, work, you know, economic democracy, which the worker co-op is the dominant form. So I was, I was curious if you had thoughts on um, the ways that worker co-op should be both in collaboration and conflict with um, shared capitalism, which is the sort of probably, you know, economically more powerful of the two, but they kind of sort of exist with some similar goals and some different goals. Right. Yeah. Good question. Thanks. Um, so I'm clearly, I think it's clear that I'm in the camp of the democratic participation, grassroots ownership, worker control um, camp. And the reasons why I'm more excited and put more of my energy into that than shared capitalism is pretty much for all the stuff we just spent the last hour talking about, but I'll, I'll revamp it. I really believe that the only way we're, really, we're gonna achieve real economic and social justice is people owning and controlling their own non-hierarchical, non-exploitative economic activity. And to me, that's owning it as a group of people, as a community, in a way where people have a voice about the work itself, how the work is compensated, how the company is run or the enterprise is run. Um, so people are in control of all the pieces, all the facets. Shared capital to me is really not about that level of economic participation. It's more about dividing up the ownership so that it's affordable, right? And so more people can have the ownership, but it's not necessarily about making sure that everybody has voice, that community, family, and each member really prosper. Um, it's kind of giving up on let's change capitalism. It's kind of like, let's just get our piece of the pie. I mean, I know some shared capital feel like they're changing capitalism, but to me, it's more about, right, let's, if we can get a piece of the pie and more of us can get a piece of the pie, that'll kind of fix capitalism a little bit or mediate how bad it is. Um, but I don't think we should, uh, I, I can't be, I can't accept that as the, the end result. Because to me, I, I want to live in a world and I want my grandchildren to live in a world where we're not exploiting each other where we're not controlling resources so that some of us have a lot more. And even if it's a bigger, a number of us have a lot more. There's, I don't want a place where I have more because somebody else has less. I don't want a zero sum game. I don't want a limited pie. I believe in what, what one of my colleagues calls uh, economics of abundance. I believe that there's enough for everybody. It's how we structure it and who has access and voice and control. And I don't like this economics of scarcity. That's the other thing I should have said when I was explained mm -hmm. mainstream economics. It's all about scarcity. There's small pie. We have to figure out how to dole out this small little bit. And there's nothing about growing the pie or nothing about abundance. There's nothing about everybody participating and benefiting. Um, but I come from a world and a worldview that we all should participate, we all should benefit. What we do should be helping not just ourselves and our families, but our neighbors and the world. It should be making sure that we can live those seven generations that some of the First Nations talk about in a way where we're all prosperous. It's about getting rid of poverty, homelessness, malnutrition, Right, um, and the only way I know to do that is for all of us to work together, to do it together. Um, I really believe in stewardship, not ownership, but I'm willing to believe in cooperative, collective ownership as the path to stewardship, right? To get us away from private property and all that. And you know, I'm sure in my lifetime, I won't see us at stewardship, but at least maybe we can be on that path and at least eliminate some of the private property and private ownership where some people get to take 
the marbles and go and do what they want with them. Um, so that's, I don't know if that ex gives you, uh, it's not exactly a scientific or an economic answer, but it's an answer from my heart <laughs> about what, you know, how I really think our economy should work and how we should relate to each other. And to me, that really is we should all be, we are, and we should all be treated as equals. We should all have equal access and equal outcomes in economic and social forces and we should all be doing things to make the world better for all of us in whatever ways we can especially through our economic structures because that undermine underpins everything so now i'm a pollyanna but i'm sorry that's who i am 